They're the tragic faces of a flawed decision. Three teenagers, former patients of the Barrett Adolescent Centre for Mental Health, who took their own lives after it was closed. I personally met with uh, one of the young girls um, who is no longer with us. I will never forget her for as long as I live. A commission of inquiry headed by retired Judge Margaret Wilson examined its closure by the Newman government in January 2014. She handed over the 650-page report today. The report describes flawed, chaotic and uncoordinated decision-making by government in an environment uh, where no one took responsibility. Both sides of government knew the centre was old and needed to close. But the Newman government cancelled a planned replacement facility before it shut the Barrett Centre. An expert panel was concerned. It warned that if the back were closed before the establishment of such a facility, interim service provision would be associated with risk. That advice was not heeded. Neither then Health Minister Lawrence Springborg nor anyone in his office read that report. The inquiry found no one in the department, nor Mr Springborg, broke any laws. The government will now build a replacement centre, tragically too late for some former patients, whose families have sent the Premier a letter. And I quote, there is now reason to believe that a brighter future might be possible. And Michael Best is at Parliament House. Michael, what did the Commissioner say about the deaths of the three teenagers? Well, Andrew, the inquiry didn't consider whether the closure of the Barrett Centre caused, contributed to or affected the deaths of the three teenagers. That's a matter for the State Coroner. And now that the Commission has finished its job, his inquest will now resume. As for the former government, now State Opposition, it released a statement late this afternoon calling the inquiry a $20 million political witch hunt and saying that the report found no wrongdoing on the part of the former Health Minister, Lawrence Springborg.